Welcome to House of H's. So we're having a little uh, test time with Melissa there. But the kids uh, currently are um, in screen free play. So let's just kind of check out what they're doing. Light bright. Looks good, bud. Sorry, it's kind of dark as we uh, go from room to room. Yeah, okay. So we can see old Mr. Vader. Hey, buddy. Rough life. Stressful. Must be stressful. Let's check on the other ones. Although it's kind of a mess. Uh, no kids in here. But it looks like they have been playing. Good job, guys. What y'all play in Frozen? Yes. If, yeah. If you put two, if it's your turn, th these are your steps. How much steps you go? You go like sideways, uh -huh. and then that's where you put your snowflake. And how much weight it puts on one of the the trees go down, and then what's in there? Olaf. Oh, Olaf, Olaf flies out. Yeah. If you get much too much um um things like snowflakes, it'll get too much weight and. And Olaf goes flying. Yep. All right, so. I'm not really sure what she's doing. What? What are you doing? Sorting. Your... Sorting. What are you sorting? Hmm. Rubber bands. What's good? Okay, so. What kind of crack is the arrow pointing to? Is it a radial crack? Con, whatever, concentric crack, which is talking about the circle. Crack cocaine or a plumber's crack? <laughs> My um, professor has a sense of humor, so I'm gonna go with a radial crack. All important things that she needs to know for psychology. This is not psychology. What? Well, oh, I'm sorry. Criminal justice portion. This is all stuff she needs to know for criminal justice. <clears throat> Let's look, bud. So you do this first this light. Just first. all of it lights up. Yeah. And the second light, it blinks. Uh huh. And That's the cool. other light just blinks faster. And this other light goes like boom, 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 boom. Then it, it turns off. And then off. It looks good. Good job. Got more screen free play time slash lunch going on. What's over here? Fruit. What kind of fruit? What's, what's left? Oranges and a peach. That's definitely a peach. Alright, so oranges and peaches left there. And I finished our balloon. Okay, so I ran out of these colors. Um, I like it on the side because it's like all white on the side and then just colors on that side but yeah. then I ran over so it's like half calm and half crazy. A little uh, craft she made during her screen free play time. Snake Can Snake has not been out today that I've seen yet. He has not been out in like three days. Yeah. He ate. Shedding. Yeah he ate and he's getting ready to shed so he kind of kind of hides away and sheds. Got the boys lunches getting ready to go in now with a little bit of party pizza. I feel like that's a recurring theme around here is this party pizza. We love it so much. So here is some of the the little kids, uh, what we call the babies, you know, Harper and Holden. What they did, they did a, uh, a puzzle. They started on another puzzle, hadn't finished it yet, and they got distracted. And... It didn't hurt. It didn't hit you. What you got? What are you guys doing? No, I fell. Oh, we're just playing, and I'm shooting this with the screen there. You're doing what? I'm shooting him with this big Nerf gun. You're shooting him with the big Nerf gun? Shoot the wall and see how much damage Yeah, what's this? <clears throat> what do you have in your hand, bud? Lightsaber. A lightsaber. What's this? Mm -hmm. What is it? There it is. It shoots pretty fast. So we got some dragons, some Play dinosaurs, right some Legos, some robots. Someone, someone, George. 
This is their uh, train table. Uh, take like train slash all their Ow, toy the toy I table. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Look, look right. inside the toy box. Well, you guys have fun with y'all's playtime. Okay, okay, this is the Nerf gun. Um, Cam. Cam. Yeah. Okay, let's turn around and do, shoot Not it. Not me. Not you. It hurts really bad. So you did, where did you um, just go do? We went to the church. What do we have to do? A fruit test. A fruit test. We filmed, we, are, we filmed a video for our church for the weekly family devotion. So me and the girls went and did that and I made them test a bunch of different fruits. Go check it out if you want to see me throw, not throw up, I'm just kidding. I yeah. choked. <laughs> That'll release this Wednesday night, so I'll make sure to add a link to that video. Um, so, I'm fixing to go grocery shopping. The girls are going to watch some TV and do a light bright. The boys, Holden's at piano. Houston and, and Dad are um, taking him to piano, so we'll catch on just a little bit. Just left Walmart. We did most of my grocery shopping at Walmart this week, which is not the norm, but I didn't feel like going in more than one store. And um, so I just did everything at Walmart. And they didn't have several of the items I needed, which is just like our local Walmart. But I just wanted to know does anybody else judge? I guess it's a harsh word to use, but um, judge, I guess, is really the only way to say it. The cashiers at Walmart on how they stack your groceries. Like, <clears throat> I know the grandmas because they're going to separate my meats, um, not put my chicken with my pork. Um, I know the teenagers who put the eggs under my dog food. Um, but then I also feel like I can tell which of the women and men who don't have kids or maybe don't do bulk grocery shopping because they put everything in one bag. Like every bag has one item. Like my honey buns were in one bag and my bread was in one bag and my box of macaroni and cheese was in one bag. And I'm like, you make it harder because then I just have all these bags at home. So I just, uh, maybe it's just me. Maybe I'm just a mean person. But I could usually tell a lot by the way that they bag my groceries. And again, I normally don't buy a lot of stuff at Walmart. So I don't go through a line where they bag my stuff. I go through self-checkout. Um, and at Aldi, they don't bag your stuff. They just throw it in your cart. So um, maybe I'm just more sensitive to noticing it when I do because I don't do it very much. Um, but yeah, I feel like I can I can tell a lot by someone by the way that they they bag my groceries and um, maybe that's maybe that's just me. But y'all let me know. I'm heading now to pick up the baby from daycare and um, heading back home to hang out with the kids. We're having Brenner. So if you don't know what Brenner is, that is breakfast for dinner. It's one of our favorite meals. So tonight we're not doing as much tonight as sometimes we do. We're doing eggs sausage pancakes and cinnamon rolls for dessert because our sweet sweet neighbors gave us several pans of cinnamon rolls that she makes that are so good so we're gonna eat some of those for dessert so we're pretty excited very high carb high sugar dinner um, but we don't do it very often usually only once a month so um, we're looking forward to that so catch y'all maybe later when we're eating dinner Zip. He just snaps me like better zip. Better leave it. Leave it. Good, boy. Good boy.
Y'all can only carry one bag at a time. Pick him up. Yeah. Okay, so we are doing pancakes tonight and eggs, pancakes, eggs, and some sausage, I think. So Hallie's getting all of her eggs in there. I'm gonna start the pancakes, so um, make sure to comment if you eat Brenner, so what we call it around here, breakfast for dinner, or do y'all only eat breakfast in the mornings. What else? What else? Um, we don't really eat breakfast in the morning. No, we never eat breakfast foods in the morning. We eat like cereal, mm -hmm. muffins. It's still breakfast food. Yeah. What's other items? It's weird that like there's three meals a day, but it's like you can only eat certain things for the morning, but then you can eat the same thing for lunch and dinner. Like, why can't you have a Big Mac for breakfast or ribs? Or like shrimp and steak. Like, why can't I have that for breakfast? Why does it have to be a certain style it's food? Just not to be a big meal. It's just weird, don't you think? Yeah. What's your favorite breakfast food? Me? Yes. Eggs. Eggs. Do you like waffles or pancakes? Well, no, I like French toast. French toast. Okay. We need to make that more often. Do you like? Waffles or eggs more? Waffles. I mean, waffles or um, pancakes? Waffles. Waffles. We do waffles sometimes. Um, we have a waffle maker. But normally I do pancakes. And um, I have a big griddle that I normally do them on. But tonight I'm actually just going to do them in my big pan. I think I can do three or four at a time in this big pan. And then um, use the same pan to do some eggs after we're done. So, yeah, Hallie's cracking. We're doing 12 eggs tonight. Only three of the kids eat eggs, plus the baby. So really four. Yeah, Dad. He's not gonna be here for dinner tonight because he's at work. So just four kiddos eating eggs. So we're making 12. 12. You can use a fork if you don't this. What about uh, chocolate chip? Do you like chocolate chip or M&M or pancakes? Or just regular? Yeah, I like chocolate chip. I add cinnamon to mine. Not pancakes. It's hard to stir with your left hand. Don't knock the ball off. So, that's our pancake batter. Hallie is doing the eggs. Which, yes, milk and yes, we do eggs. We get eggs from our chickens, but um, we actually didn't have enough, so I had to buy a dozen tonight. So, add a little bit of milk as well, Hallie. Um, yeah, yeah, milk, and we add milk and salt and pepper to our scrambled eggs, and then sometimes I add cheese. Right, once we add they're, a lot of pepper. Once they're done, I add cheese to dad sometimes. Okay, and just a splash of milk in there. Makes, the <laughs> well, makes it fluffy, I think. Yeah, and if, I was fixing to say it makes the medicine go down. A little bit more. But. A little bit more. One more splash. <laughs> okay. Mm -hmm. It makes me sit just a little bit of sugar. So that go down. Yeah, I like Mary yeah. Pop. I love Mary Poppins. Okay, so I'm gonna fry up some pancakes. Oh. I'm just using a box pancake mix. Um, I do have a recipe that I really like when I do waffles that make the waffles good um, and thick and fluffy but for pancakes for the most part I use this Aldi version of pancake batter and then um, just syrup with it so it's 
So our pancakes are done, and if you're just cooking pancakes for a few people, this is really not very helpful. But I wanted to show y'all these um, Pampered Chef. They're really called salad choppers. They'll chop your um, salad up to look just like the finely shredded Taco Bell salad <laughs> or lettuce. Um, but I use them for everything. I use them for chicken, um, pork, or anything in the crock pot I want shredded. But it is wonderful even for like pancakes. So I'm gonna try to do this one-handed, but you just cut. Um, and then as you can see, it just makes all these little pieces. I just go through here and cut it up and it makes these perfect little bite-sized pieces and then put the whole plate of bite-sized pieces on the table and you're good to go with little kids. So these things are well worth the investment. If you know somebody who shell, sells Pampered Chef, um, invest in these salad choppers. You will use them at least two or three times a week, if not every day. Hallie's cooking the eggs for her. She said she felt like a mom. How would I talk or what would I do? Get out of your room! That's what I say. What else do I say? I gotta think, hold on. I should know this. You kinda look like a mom. With your little glasses and braid. Or cooking. I'm cooking. She's got her eggs in there going, so we're fixing to eat dinner. You better use that fork. Got our pancakes and eggs. Hot. Houston doesn't do the eggs. He's picker. The rest of them do the pancakes and eggs. They have their milk. Is it yummy? Yeah. Yes. Yes, yes ma'am. Yes, ma Look at these amazing cinnamon rolls that our neighbor makes. They are so yummy. She makes cinnamon rolls and orange rolls, and they are both so good. So the kids are just eating a half a cinnamon roll each, which is They're plenty, huge. they're huge. But they absolutely love them. Oh.